Greetings Petrolheads, welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon Game. Now, some of you guys have asked for a uh, for a new campaign that uh, makes sports cars. And uh, I'm gonna start one right now. I'm gonna start in the 50s. And let's see what do we get. Um, what do we have available at this point? Not very much, honestly, if we go a little bit further. Was it 55? Okay, now we have a little bit more options. Mm, yeah, this one could be interesting. This could be... Never mind. Um... So we're gonna go with this. Make like a road... That's a... It's a sort of British British sports car, classic British sports car. I'm gonna be calling this. Um, I'm gonna be calling this company Marina. I think it's just um, a name that sounds, you know, like it, like it has heritage or something. Like it, you know, it's easily pronounceable, easily rem uh, rememberable. If that's uh, even a word. Uh, do we go with the Roadster first, or do we go with a Coupe? And if we go with a Coupe, with this or with this? I just love this kind of almost hatchback style um, rear end. I yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. Gonna make sure that this first effort will stay in people's heads, and uh, you can actually lower these as well. Yeah, okay. Good. Um, let's make this from a steel space frame, honestly. And with the wishbones front and rear, and then from fiberglass. Why fiberglass? Because fiberglass is actually um, a very light, and the material costs aren't that bad. Tooling costs are a lot lower than on steel, even. And engineering time is pretty much the same. And you know we didn't really have that many uh, that uh, like very high safety standards in the in the 50s. So that's that's something worth noting. Um, we are gonna be going for some round headlights. Obviously, that's what these uh, yeah these body panels are made for. It's pretty much like insert headlight here. That's what they're saying. And we're gonna do that right there. Uh, I think uh, here's the thing. I wanna make Marina a sort of British, uh, British manufacturer, uh, yeah, British sports car manufacturer, and therefore I think it it seems very um, fitting to go with this body first. Could have also gone with the Roadster because. You know, like Austin Healy and uh, MGs and uh, Triumphs and whatnot. I uh, think we're just gonna go with some of these for indicators, but those instead. Yes. And then, as far as grills go, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And it fits right in as is. Oh no, uh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, just like that. Simple look. And uh, as far as badges goes, I want to go with another ornament. I think I'm gonna choose this one right here. It's like a like an arrow, or, an arrow or something. What about this? That's way too large. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go with this then. Maybe even some small vents over here. Like... These ones? Excuse me. Hmm... 
Okay, let's get this in line with the with the grill. And then put the indicator in line with the vent. There we go. Yeah, I think I think I'm content with that. And we need some door handles. Side indicators are, are not mandatory yet in the 50s. They only became that in like 1967, I think. Tail lights? Mm, gonna go with round ones this time around. And. One and then two. This one's also going to be the indicator. And then we're going to have a number plate, like right there. And gonna put some exhausts and this one these ones are by the way from the workshop if i didn't mention that on the once one concept card that i did recently that used this body and these ones only really fit like the the area at in in which you can put an exhaust on this body is very small and these ones re and these ones really only fit when you have um when you turn them upside down. So now I think they're reasonably big. Big enough for everyone to see. And yeah. That's gonna be the Marina. Can't really call it Dart, can I? Because that's a Dodge name. Um We'll, we'll we'll talk about the the name in 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 a moment. Uh, okay, obviously rear wheel drive because don't really want the four x four uh, um, option in this thing. Gonna be making it green, but more like British racing green. And I know that's also very similar to the concept car that I the twenty twenty concept car that I made in the last episode. But like. Yeah, why not? If, if this is gonna be a British car, might as well have British racing green um, paint job. As far as engines go, now for this one, I think I want to keep it light, and therefore I'm gonna go with an inline four. And I want to make this engine rev for for what this time allows, anyway. And I think typically engines in sports cars like this were like, or in nine four engines, were like 1.5, 1.6 liters big. So let's go ahead and make this like a little bit bigger. 87 by 67, yeah, okay. And because I think that push rods aren't really suited for high revs. Here's the thing, I wanna go, I wanna try a direct acting OHC, but I'm probably gonna end up going with an overhead cam setup. We could make the head aluminium, but that would reduce reliability by a lot. Let's try it though. Okay. Gonna go with cast pistons because heavy duty and heavy cast is just well you're not going far, far above uh, 5000 rpm with those even with a small engine like this let's get 50 cam profile which is pretty aggressive for this era where engines like had crazy amounts of valve load even in low rpms let's go for Two power setup for now. With a performance intake. 
and super leaded. No, let's keep it on regular leaded. It's not, it's not gonna be uh, like very economical, but at least you can fill it up with pump gas, I guess. Long tube of headers. Gonna be making about this much power, I guess. Baffled mufflers or no mufflers at all, maybe. I don't know. We get a lot of valve float. I think this would be a better choice here. We're only really making 80 horsepower. Eighty one. It's not very good. Hmm. This thing is going to be loud, very loud. Hmm. Let's let's try it. Let's let's see what this does. In this car manual gearbox four speed is just much better because we don't have very much power gonna make it so we hit 100 kilometers now in second gear leave the, the differential open and uh, well, we can't really re we can't really increase tire width that much, but then the wheels are too big for now. 155s are probably fine. Medium tires and these rims or these ones. I think the other ones look better. Or these? No, those are. They just got a classic kind of aura to them. And bigger tires, because why in the world not? 165s, yeah, okay. Let's, let's, let's stick with those. We need bigger brakes. We're still going to have a lot of uh, brake fade, though. No under tray. Certainly no off-road off skid tray. Yeah, okay. Enough cooling airflow. And we're gonna go... Two seats. A sporty interior, I guess. And then... Basic radio, no power steering, standard safety. Uh, standard spring. Twin tube dampers, passive sway bars, and then a sport setup. We are oversteering now. Not anymore. This is still a fairly sporty setup. We do have a lot of bottoming out. Not anymore. Okay. Good. That also reduced the roll angle. This car is so light. 705 kilograms. Even so, we're doing 0 to 100 in 11 seconds. That's not very good. So I really would like a little bit more power. Which is probably going to be coming from the overhead cam. Or maybe not, actually. Look at that. Hmm. It is making more torque. Hmm. But we can also use more fuel octane now. So, how, how much power were we making? 80.8. And now we're 79.2. Yeah, we can certainly make this work and uh, produce a little bit more power. Maybe not. What we probably need is 
DCOE carbs. Twin carburetor. Yeah, that seems like a good solution. Go up to 60 cam profile. And reliability is not very good, but you know. What do you expect from a 1955 sports car? 88 horsepower. Did add a little bit of weight. 10.6 seconds. Hmm. Point six seconds still. Oh man, we don't even have much wheel spin, do we? No, six point two percent. That's not a lot. Um, yeah, it's really the power that we're missing. Can we fit an inline six? Or is that too big? Uh, well, we uh, we put a 4.2 liter v in uh, six in into the other car, so can't be too big. Actually, let's put this into a bigger, like into a higher class of car by giving it a, a 2.5 liter in N6. It's competing. It's going to be competing with different cars now. Not really sure what exactly in the 50s, but because it's not really in the same class as a uh, as a BMW 507 yet. For that, it really needs more power and uh, especially a bigger engine. We're closing in on 800 kilograms now, but the zero to 100 is now 8.1. Also making a lot of wheel spin. You know what? Actually, I want to go back to four cylinder engine now. Because really, I want to. I want this thing to be more drivable. I want this thing to be like, well, a, a sort of manageable, light and fun little sports car. And with the N96, it's not as light anymore. It's not as agile anymore. Like. Going back to the N94 with 1.6 liters just did save us about like 85 kilograms. That's a lot. That's a lot in a car that's actually so light. Um, yeah, 10.6 seconds is not that bad for, for this time. For the 1955 era. 148 kilometers an hour top speed in a time where most cars didn't reach 100, it's also not that bad. Maybe I should make it so third gear hits 100. It's actually worse. I can't make it short enough so that we would only reach 100 in third gear like this. Yes, I can. We're gonna have quite a bit of wheel spin. We could get rid of that with an automatic locker. Well, not really. Uh, no, I don't think I want that. Want to keep it more sporty? Yeah, okay. Well, there's no acceleration in fourth gear anymore, really. But, you know, again, compared to other cars of its time, it's still quite quick. If we're not talking about, like, American cars, like the V16 Cadillacs and whatnot. <laughs> uh, but this is light, this is nimble, this is, like, 
A British sports car, really, so... Um, well, this is gonna be the first... Um, the first car of the Marina playthrough. And I guess that's gonna... That's gonna be what I continue with in, in the future. This is gonna be... Um, yeah, a lightweight British sports car manufacturer. And as such, I'm gonna do more research on what cars I'm actually gonna be competing against. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like or a comment if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.